Welcome to your Yoga Lattes workout with Louise Solomon. Founded in Byron Bay on Australia's east coast, Yoga Lattes brings together the best of two worlds, yoga and Pilates. The reason I joined Yoga and Pilates together comes from my own personal experience. Twelve years ago I was injured in a beginner's yoga class after being pushed to a level my body just wasn't ready for. That was when I tried Pilates. It acted in strengthening the deeper muscles, which is where I was weak, and better prepared my body for the yoga exercises that I've always loved. When we bring yoga and Pilates together, we have Yoga Lattes, creating a strong, healthy body and a strong, centered mind. Pilates focuses on core stability. It's about strengthening your center, your deep abdominal muscles that wrap around you like a corset into your lower spine. We also strengthen the muscles that run vertically up and down the spine into the mid back. These are the muscles that are hardest to reach. Focusing on the top muscles creates strength and stability in the upper spine, helping to prevent injury or stress to the neck and mid back while targeting the centre muscles prevents injury in the lower back. At the same time, you're realigning the body and creating a streamlined shape. Yoga is also a great workout. It's been around for 5,000 years, proving itself over and over again a very effective way to relieve stress and anxiety. Yoga focuses on the breathing which acts in calming the mind. It's also pumping the circulation and stimulating the internal organs, while at the same time toning the body and increasing flexibility. If you use this video at least three times a week for a month, you'll start losing weight and toning the body. Stick to it for three months and you'll be a completely changed person with stronger abdominals and a streamlined shape, the body you've always wanted. Before we get started, you'll need to get some equipment, which you can get from around the house. You'll need to get a large towel, which you can lay onto the carpet. But if you're working on a harder surface, it's really important to get a big, thick blanket. This will protect your spine while you're working. You'll also need a hand towel, which can be folded and placed under your head for extra comfort. And finally, we'll be working with the TheraBand. This is a great little tool. Usually Pilates incorporates machinery, but we'll be working with this stretchy band, which replaces all that. A couple of health tips to keep in mind. Don't eat two hours before the workout. If you're not used to exercising, have a fruit juice to help keep your energy levels up drink plenty of water, and always listen to your body. Don't push yourself too hard. Louise will be taking us through two workouts. First will be low impact, excellent for beginners and postnatal women. It will tone the abdominals and strengthen the back and pelvic muscles, enhancing sexual sensitivity. It will also tighten the arms and legs. Workout two is slightly more intense. We'll be getting rid of unwanted flab under the upper arm, while the lower body work will create strong and streamlined legs and a tighter bottom. Once again, we'll be strengthening the mid back and spine and working those abs. We're just about ready to start your yoga lattes workout. But before we begin, it's really important that you understand the breathing system, which is called lateral thoracic breathing, which is where we breathe up into the sides of the rib cage and the back of the rib cage. So I'll just get you to start and we'll place one hand onto your lower stomach here where the abdominal muscles are, just over your navel, and the other hand up onto your rib cage. And just very simply, I want you to inhale into that bottom hand. So just inhale and blow your belly out. Then as you exhale, just draw it simply back in. And again, inhale, blow it out. And as you exhale, 
draw it back in. So what we're doing is drawing the abdominals to the spine. And again, we inhale, blow it out. And as you exhale, draw it back in. So this time we want to keep the abdominals in and you inhale up into the top hand like so and then you exhale in strong keeping the abdominals strong and again you inhale into the top hand and then we exhale and just draw the abdominals in strong to the spine try and keep them in there and again inhale into your hand and you exhale nice and strong. So by drawing your abdominals to your spine and keeping them there, you're going to protect and strengthen your lower back muscles as well as protect your internal organs and tone your abdominals simply while you breathe. Now pick up your therabands. You need to have the theraband white and we're going to place it up around your mid-back muscles and then bring it around your rib cage to the front. So just grabbing hold near the edges of the bands, rest your elbows in at the waist and sitting up tall and without moving the spine, just very simply, we're going to inhale, just hunch the shoulders up around the ears and then on the exhale, just slide the shoulder blades down into the mid-back and again, hunch the shoulders up around the ears and then slide the shoulder blades down into your mid-back. And just keeping them down there, this helps to strengthen and stabilise your mid-back muscles. And just slightly tuck your chin into your throat, you keep your neck long. We're just going to work a little bit more with the breathing system now. You're going to cross your right arm over the left. You're going to draw the navel abdominal muscles back to your spine, keeping them in there and then we're going to inhale into the band to the sides and we breathe. And then as you exhale you're going to gently just squeeze the band and just squeeze the breath out of the body. So we inhale deep and wide into the sides of the bands and then we exhale and we squeeze the air out. And we'll do it one more time. We inhale deep and wide into the sides of the bands and we exhale all the air out. And by doing this, by keeping the abdominals in strong, we create a streamlined shape. So if you practice this a few times at home until you get the hang of it. A lot of our exercises we'll be doing will be laying on the floor. So I just need you to get familiar with the alignment of your spine. So laying down like this with your feet, knees, hips in line. And if you're feeling anything uncomfortable in your neck, just place your hand towels under your head like so. Okay, and then just resting your hands just under your hip bones like this. I just want you to feel where your spine is touching the floor and where it doesn't. So we'll just start with the base of the spine and the buttocks. We can feel that this area is touching and imprinting into the floor. And then we're going just to walk up our spine, coming into the lower back, below the navel, abdominals. Now we can feel that this area is not touching the floor. It has a natural curve here. So I don't want you to be sinking back into the lower back like so. I want you to stay up onto the base of the spine. So we maintain that natural curve there in the lower back. We're going to step up the spine a little bit more, coming up into the mid back area. Now this area, as you can feel, is touching the floor. It's spreading and imprinting the shoulder blades into the floor, creating another stable base from which we'll be moving. And then if you visually step up your spine coming up into your neck, you can feel that this is not touching the floor. Again, we have another natural curve here called the cervical. And then we step up a little bit more and we have the back of your head, skull, is touching the floor. So hence we have the three natural curves of the spine. So when we're doing the exercises, I like you to be aware and to maintain your natural curves in the spine. And I'll be referring to this as a neutral spinal alignment. So just to check it again, you can feel that you have the base of the spine touching the floor, the lower back doesn't, the mid back does, the neck doesn't, and the back of the head does. So we're maintaining our natural curves. Now we're ready to start your Yoga Lattes workout.
Workout one. This entire workout is done either lying down or sitting up. It's great for the whole body. We'll be focusing mainly on our centre, core postural muscles, the abdominals, the deep abdominals, the lower back, and the pelvic floor muscles. So lying down onto your back. And just making sure you're comfortable. If you're not, place your cushion under the backs of your knees or your folded hand towel under your head. And then just laying long along the floor, having the arms beside the body, palms to the ceiling. And just closing the eyes. And the facial muscles relaxing, the jaw is softening. We'll be breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Sort of sensing the breath as it's entering the body and sensing the breath as it's leaving the body. Just taking a smooth, even, uninterrupted inhale and a smooth, even, uninterrupted exhale. And just working with the breath, we're just gently going to limber up the neck. So just taking a big breath in and on the exhale, just simply roll the head to the right. And then we inhale, we bring the head back up to centre. And we exhale to the left. And then we inhale back up to centre. And then we exhale to the right and just releasing, relaxing on that exhale. We inhale back up to centre. We exhale one more time to the left. And then we inhale back up to centre. And just slightly tucking the chin into your throat, just lengthening the back of the neck so the neck is long, lengthened and released. And then just very gently we're going to bend the legs, placing the feet, knees, hips in line. And then just placing the hands, resting the hands onto the abdominals. And just sensing the natural curves of the spine, your neutral spine. You can feel the weight in the base of the spine, in the mid-back and the back of the head. I'm going to do an exercise called the pelvic rock where we're going to limber the lower back and release tension in the neck, working with the abdominals. So let's use the breathing system. We take a big breath in deep and wide and simply as you exhale, contract the abdominals to the spine and then simply just sink the lower back into the floor. Good. And then we inhale, release back up onto the base of the spine. It's very simple. And we exhale, contract the abdominals to the spine, sink the lower back to the floor. Don't squeeze your buttocks. We're just working the abdominals. And we inhale, release back up onto the base of the spine. We exhale, contract the abdominals, sink the lower back. Now we're going to hold it down there now for an exercise called the scoop. Each time you exhale, scoop your abdominal muscles deeper to the spine and then pull up on your pelvic floor. So just scooping the muscles deeper on the exhale, into the spine, into the floor, working your pelvic floor. Good. One more time, using that breath. And exhale, nice and strong, working those deep abdominal muscles, pelvic floor. And then just very simply inhale, release back up onto the base of the spine. We're going to place the left hand behind the head. So just lifting your head up. And we're going to splay the fingers of the right hand right across your stomach here. We're going to do an exercise called the curl up. Preparation first. We're going to target the top abdominal muscle as well as working with the deeper abdominals. So let's work with the breathing system. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, just simply contract the abdominals and lift the head just two inches off the floor. You can really feel the top muscle working. Take a big breath there. And then we exhale gently and release the head back down. 
Good. And again, take another big breath in. And we exhale. Contract the abdominals and lift. Keep the neck long here. Take another big breath in. And we exhale. Let's release the head back down. One more time. Take a big breath. And we exhale. Contract and lift. And really feel that top abdominal muscle working, keeping it in. Take another breath. And we exhale. Release the head back down. Okay, we're going to advance it here for the full curl up. Take another big breath in. And we exhale, lifting the head, and then we curl the head up. Looking above the knees, keeping the abdominals in strong. Take a big breath in. And then we exhale, release the head back down. And then just open the elbow wide. Take another big breath in here. We exhale, contract the abdominals and curl the head up. Working it gently with the neck. If you're feeling it too strong, just stay with the preparation. Take another big breath in. And then we exhale, release the head back down. Open the elbow wide. And again, big breath in, deep and wide. Exhale, contract and curl the head up. Keep the front of the body long. Keep the back of the body long. Another big breath here. And then we release the head back down. Open the elbow wide. Good, and then just swapping hands, placing the right hand under the head, and again, splay the fingers on that left hand. So we really feel that whole top abdominal working. Another big breath in, stay with the breathing system. And we exhale, contract and curl the head up. Good, feel the abs work, take another big breath in. And we exhale, release the head back down, open the elbow wide. Big breath in, deep and wide. Exhale, contract and curl the head up. Good, feeling the abdominals working. Take that big breath in. And then we exhale, release the head back down. We'll do it one more time. We inhale, deep and wide. We exhale, contract and curl the head up. Good, take another big breath in. And we exhale, release the head back down. Open the elbow wide. Now placing the other hand behind the head now. Interlace the fingers. I'm going to do an exercise called an oblique twist that targets the abdominals on the side. Taking a big breath in. And we exhale. We lift the head a little higher and then simply peel the left shoulder blade off. Keep the stomach in strong. We inhale, release back down. Good. And we exhale, lift and peel, right shoulder blade off. We inhale, release back down. We exhale, lift and peel. Keep the stomach strong here. We inhale, release back down. Last one, we exhale, lift and peel. And then we inhale, release back down. Good. Just placing the left hand onto the left abdominals. We're going to place the right hand beside the body and just simply hunch the shoulders up round the ears and slide the shoulders into that mid-back, keeping the neck long and lengthened. We're going to do an exercise called the leg lifts where we're going to be working with the legs and working the abdominals. So let's just raise on the inhale the right leg up, bring the foot into a flex, push through that heel. If this is slightly uncomfortable, you can bend your knee. So working with the breathing system, take a big breath in. And we exhale, contract the abdominals and we float the leg down, pushing through that heel. We inhale, point, hovering the leg. We exhale, contract and float the leg back up. Good. We inhale, flex, push through the heel. We exhale, contract and float the leg back down. We inhale, point. Exhale, contract and float the leg up. You can feel the abdominals working with the leg. We inhale, flex, last one. And we exhale, contract and float that leg down. Good. Inhale, point and simply bend the knee, place the foot onto the floor. Okay, we'll swap hands here. And just extending through the left fingers. We inhale the left leg up into the air. Bring the foot into a flex. Take that big breath in deep and wide. And we exhale, contract and float the leg down, pushing through that heel. We inhale, point. We exhale, contract, work the abdominals, float it up. Inhale, flex. 
Use your breath. Exhale, contract. Good. We inhale, point. Exhale, contract and float the leg up. Inhale, flex. Last one here. And we exhale, contract and float the leg down. Good. We inhale, point and simply bend the knee. Okay, we'll just draw the knees into the chest. Right leg first, then the left leg. And just giving the knees a hug, just working it gently with your knees, but just hugging the knees into the chest. So we're just stretching the spine along the floor. Then just very gently rock the body side to side. So we massage into the lower spine. And just relaxing the facial muscles, soften the jaw. Just having a break from the breathing system. And then we rock it back into the centre. We're going to place both hands onto the right knee, draw it into the chest. We extend the left leg up into the air and then just extend it along the floor, stretching it out. We're going to place the right foot onto the left knee, extend the right arm onto the floor. I'm going to do a gentle spinal twist here. So let's take a big breath in, use your breathing system. On the exhale, those abdominals in strong and gently take the leg across the body. Good, looking over that opposite shoulder. Then we're going to point the left foot and just stretch out those left abdominals. Good, just breathing into it. Working into the spine, this is great for the spine. Slight rotation. Take another big breath in and we exhale, releasing the leg back up. Good, and then extend the leg up into the air and then long along the floor. Okay, we'll bend the left leg, just place the foot onto the right knee. Placing the hand onto the knee, extending the left arm onto the floor. Take another big breath in here and we exhale, contract the abdominals, take the leg across the body. It's so working your breath, breathing into it. And again, we point the right foot, stretching those right abdominal muscles. Breathing into it. Take a big breath in and we exhale, abdominal strong, bringing the leg back up. Then just lengthen the leg long along the floor. Okay, and we're just very gently going to roll over onto our sides. And then just bring yourselves up to sitting. We're going to grab hold of our blue bands. Keeping your knees bent, we're going to flex the feet, the toes towards you, and place the bands, having them wide, around the feet. And then just pull back on the bands. So you can feel the resistance here. So pulling back onto the bands. Now, as you pull back, I want you to sit up tall and try and lengthen your spine. And then just very gently, just find a point of focus just in front, just getting used to sitting up tall. I'm just sensing the natural curves of the spine again. So sensing the alignment of your spine. And again, just very simply, we're inhaling, going to hunch the shoulders up around the ears, and then slowly slide the shoulders down into the mid back. One more time, inhale, hunch, and exhale, slide the shoulders into that mid back. That's going to stabilize the mid back as we work. Let's turn the palms up to the ceiling. I'm going to do an exercise called the bicep curl, toning the arms. So taking a big breath in, deep and wide, use your breathing system. On the exhale, just simply pull back on your bands. The elbows goes past the waist. And then we inhale, release part way. Good. And again, exhale, contract the abdominals strong. Inhale, release part way. Exhale, contract. Feel the arms working and the mid back working. Inhale, release. We'll do it one more time. Exhale, just pulling back on your band. Good. Now, this time, just inhaling, releasing the elbows to the waist. We're going to do an exercise called the pelvic rock, limbering into the lower back, working the abs, still working with the bicep muscles. So, big breath in. Now, don't move your upper body. Simply exhale, tuck the tailbone under, and then we inhale, spring, back up to sitting, and again, exhale, tuck, small movement. We inhale, spring, we exhale, tuck, keep the abdominals strong, pulling on the band. Inhale, spring, one more time. Exhale, tuck, 
Inhale, spring. Now we'll make it a little stronger. We're going to work a little stronger with the abdominal. Same concept. Take a big breath in. And we exhale, tucking, taking it down. Being careful with your lower backs, just to where you're comfortable. And then on the inhale, slowly, keeping the abdominal strong, bringing it back up. And then we spring back up to sitting. And again, exhale, tuck. Keep the abdominals strong, good, working the arms. Inhale, slowly, coming back up, good, and spring. We'll do it one more time, and we exhale, good, taking it down, keep the abdominals strong, keep them in, and then we inhale, bringing it back up, keep the abs in, feel them working, sitting tall. We're now going to do an exercise called the spinal roll. If you have any problems with your lower back, just keep the legs as they are. If not, let's extend them out. Flex the feet, pull back on the band. So we're stretching the backs of the legs. This is going to stretch and open the spine as we work, as well as working the abdominals. So take a big breath in, and we exhale. Tuck the pelvis under, keep the abdominals strong, rolling the body down. Relax the head, the neck down. We take a big breath in, deep and wide. As you start to exhale, we curl the head up, keeping the stomach strong, and we peel your spine off the floor and just curling forward like a ball. And then inhale, spring back up to sitting. And again, we exhale, we tuck the pelvis under. Good, you can feel the lower back go into the floor. Lower back comes off, mid back broadens, relax the head down. Take another big breath in, deep and wide. As you exhale, curl the head up, abdominals in strong, keeping the stomach in, curling like a ball, and then we spring back up to sitting. We'll do it one more time. Big breath in, and we exhale, tuck. Good, keep the abs in, keep them working. Relax the head, the neck down. Take a big breath in, deep and wide. As you start to exhale, curl the head up, draw the abdominals in. Good, rolling like that ball, stretching your spine. And then we inhale, spring back up to sitting. Okay, we're going to work with the legs now. So let's remove the left foot out of the band, staying as you are. You're going to take another big breath in. And we exhale, rolling back down, keeping the stomach strong. When the head touches the floor, the leg comes up. So keep the resistance on the band, pull down on the band, have the elbows in at the waist and push through your heel. So you're really getting a really good stretch up the back of the leg here. We're going to bend the left leg, place the foot on the floor, just anchor it firmly into the floor. We're going to work with the foot now to strengthening the foot and the ankle. So keep the toes curling towards you and we inhale and we push up through the ball of the foot and then we bring the toes up into a full point and then we drop the toes and release through the heel. Good. And again, we inhale, push up through the ball. Bring the toes up into a full point, stretch the front of your leg and then as we exhale, drop the toes, release through the heel. Good. Now this time, push up through the ball, keep it there, don't move the toes and we bend the leg. I'm going to do an exercise called the single leg that really tones the leg, tones the calves and again the abdominals. So take a big breath in, we exhale, contract the abdominals, we extend the leg out. Really push through the ball of the foot and then we inhale, release it slowly, bring it back in, keep the abs strong. Exhale, contract, extend the leg out, push through the ball, you can really feel the calf toning here. And then we inhale, bring it back. Good. And again, one more time, exhaling, taking it out, pushing through that ball, and then simply on the inhale, bring it back up into a flex and push through that heel. We're going to extend the left leg long along the floor. If this is comfortable for you, if not, keep it bent. I'm going to do an exercise that works into the hips called the hip circles. So just very gently circling, taking the leg across the body, small circle to start with, pushing through that heel, Keep the base of the spine anchored. This really limbers into the hips and the pelvis. Good, pushing through that heel. Now let's just explore it and take it a little wider. Good, you should be feeling each part of the back of your thigh, leg stretching here. Pushing through that heel, 
taking it around. And then we bring it back up into that small circle and reverse the rotation. Keep it small, take it the other way. Keep the base of the spine anchored, keep the resistance on the band. Again, let's take it wider, circling it around. Good, just limbering into the hips. And then bringing it back up into that small circle. Back to your flex. You're going to place the band into the opposite hand to the leg. You're going to extend the other arm out onto the floor, palm down. Point the foot across your body. You're going to take another big breath in here. As you exhale, contract the abdominals, taking the leg over. Looking over the opposite shoulder. This really stretches out the side of the leg into the butt. So keep working with your breath. Keep the stomach strong. Good. Take another big breath here. And then we exhale the abdominals strong. Bring the leg back up. Swapping hands with the band. Placing the left hand onto that left hip. Point the foot away from the body. On the exhale, we take the leg out. Looking over that opposite shoulder. So we have an inner thigh stretch here. Just breathing into it. Staying with your breath. Take that big breath in and we exhale, contract and we bring the leg back up. And then just gently bend the knee, release the band and extend the leg long along the floor. And just sensing for a moment, just feeling that right leg, right thigh, calf and hip should be feeling slightly different to your left one. So let's balance it up. We're going to bend both legs again, placing the band over the left toes. And again, we extend the leg up into the air, hamstring stretch, pull down on the band, sense of resistance again, elbows in at the waist. We're going to work with the foot. So as we inhale, we push up through the ball of the foot and then bring the toes up into that full point, stretch the front of your leg here. We exhale, we drop the toes and release through the heel. We inhale, push up through the ball. Good, and then point your toes. As we exhale, drop the toes and push and release through the heel into that hamstring. Now this time we push up through the ball, keep the toes as they are and we bend the knee. Again, working with the leg and the abdominals. Use your breathing system, big breath in. We exhale, contract the abdominals and extend the leg out. Push through that ball, feel the calf working. We inhale slowly, bringing it back in. Keep the abs strong. And we exhale, contracting, good. Pushing through that ball, inhale, keep the stomach strong, feel the leg working, one more time. Exhale, contract the abdominals, push through the ball and then simply inhale, bring the leg back up. Into that hamstring stretch, pull down on the band. We're going to extend the right leg along the floor, stretch it out. I'm gonna do the hip circles. So simply drawing a circle across the body, and pushing through that heel. Good, stretching into that hamstring and just limbering into the hips and the pelvis. Keep the base of the spine anchored onto the floor. Let's take it a little wider here. Good, taking it a little wider. Circling it around. It's a little bit of freedom in movement. Keep pushing through the heel and then we bring it back up into that small circle and reverse rotation, let's take it the other way, keep it small, keep the base of the spine anchored. Let's take it wider. Good, just working with your breath. Just keeping your facial muscles relaxed, jaw soft, no tension in the face as you work. And then we bring it back up into that small circle and releasing back into your flex. We place the band into the opposite hand to the leg, extend the other arm onto the floor, point the foot across the body, take a big breath in here. As you exhale, contract your abdominals, take the leg over, looking over the opposite shoulder, keep the stomach strong, sense that stretch up the side of the leg, into the buttocks, working with the breath, take another big breath in, and we exhale the abdominals strong, we pull the leg back up, Good, swapping hands with the band. Place the right hand onto the hip. 
point the foot away from the body, take that big breath in, and we exhale, contracting, we take the leg out. That inner thigh stretch looking over that opposite shoulder, staying with your breath here, just breathing into it, breathing into that stretch, and we exhale the leg back up. Good, and then just gently release, bend the knee, release the band, extend the leg out, just placing the arms beside the body, palms to the ceiling. And just relaxing the facial muscles, soften the jaw. And just coming into relaxation, just sensing the breath as it's entering your body. And just sensing that breath as it leaves the body. That's the end of workout one. If you're feeling sore tomorrow, then don't push yourself so hard next time. You can either stay as you are in relaxation for five to 10 minutes or join us for workout two. Welcome to workout two. We'll be focusing more on strengthening the mid-back muscles, the spine, which help create a great posture, while at the same time, toning the arms, legs, and the butt. So if you're not comfortable sitting onto your knees like this, then just bring yourselves to sitting in a comfortable cross-legged position onto your cushions. And then just finding a gentle point of focus just in front. We're just going to sense the breath as it's entering the body. And then just sense the breath as it's leaving the body. Just taking a deep, slow, strong inhalation through the nose and then a deep, slow, strong exhalation through the nose. It's relaxing the facial muscles, soften the jaw. Just starting to prepare the body for the workout. And again, just sensing your neutral spinal alignment, the natural curves of the spine. So sitting up tall, lengthening tall. And just simply on your next inhale, we're going to hunch the shoulders up around the ears. So we inhale and we hunch. And exhale, just slide the shoulders down into that mid-back. And again, inhale, we hunch them up. Good, don't move the neck or the spine. And exhale, slide them down into the mid-back. Then we inhale, the arms to the side. We'll just do some rotations here. We're going to work and massage the mid-back muscles. So simply on the inhale, we're going to open the palms up to the ceiling, just rotate them around. You can feel the shoulder blades more into the mid-back. Then on the exhale, rotate them back around and just sense the shoulder blades hunching up again. Good. And on the inhale, rotate them around. Good. Extending through the fingers, open that chest and we exhale, hunching them up. And again, we inhale, rotate them around. Good, we're extending through the fingers. Now this time we'll isolate. Left shoulder blade up, right one down. Now coordination, we rotate both. Good. And again, rotate both. And just feel your mid-back, it's just like a massage on the mid-back. And again, rotate both. Good. One more time, rotate both and really extend through that right palm. Now just rotate your left one. Good, extend through the fingers, open the chest and release the arms down. We're going to grab hold of our bands. We're going to place the bands up around the mid back. Gonna do some work with the arms, strengthening the arms and the mid back and also working with the spine with this one. So just grabbing again and just sensing a little bit of resistance here just to start with with the bands. Have the elbows in at the waist and then we widen the arms just to a 45 degree angle. Not too wide, just 45. Now keep the shoulders into the mid back, working with the breathing system now, taking a big breath in deep and wide. On the exhale, we extend the arms out. Good, keep the shoulders down. Inhale, bring them back in. And again, exhale, extend, feel the work in the arms and the mid back. Good, inhale, bring it back in. Keep sitting tall and we exhale, take it out. 
Now this time we hold it out. We take another big breath in and simply on the exhale, just slightly rotate the body to the right. Take the spine and the neck with you. Another big breath in and we exhale, rotate a little deeper. And then we inhale back into the centre. We exhale, slight rotation to the left. We inhale, lengthen, and again, exhale that little bit deeper. And then we inhale back to the centre, and we exhale, release the arms. Great. And just placing the bands to the sides. We're going to lay down onto our sides now. I'm going to do some work with the legs, where we're going to tone the outside of the leg and then the inner thigh. So just grabbing hold of your folded hand towels. And just making sure you have your heels in line with your buttocks. So laying down onto your sides, placing the hand towels under the head so the spine is in line, neck is in line with the spine. You can either keep your hand on top of the hip here or on the floor, whatever is more comfortable for you. So just really lengthen that top hip long and extend the top leg out. And then just relax the foot. Okay, working with the breathing system, big breath in. And we exhale, abdominals in and lift. Small movement. And then we inhale, release and lengthen in the waist. And again, exhale, lift. Abdominal strong. Good. Inhale, release and lengthen. And again, exhale, lift. Nice. Inhale, release and lengthen. Exhale, lift. Now this time, just release it down in line with the hip. We're going to flex the foot here, taking another big breath in. And on the exhale, we bring the leg forward and we push through the heel, stretching the back of the leg, hamstring, bringing it back on the inhale, keep it in line with the pelvis. Now we point and we stretch the front of the leg and squeeze your butt nice and strong, good. We bring it back on the exhale, flex and push. Inhale, bring it back. We point and stretch that thigh out. We're going to hold it here. Keep squeezing your buttocks nice and strong. Big breath in, big breath out. And then just inhale, release the leg down. Now we're going to grab hold, if you can, of the, of the top leg like so and extend the bottom leg out. If this is uncomfortable for the knee, place your knee onto a cushion. Flexing the back foot, really push through that heel. We're going to work with the breathing system, take a big breath in. We exhale, draw the abdomen in, pull up on the pelvic floor, lift the inner thigh up. We inhale, release, but do not collapse. And then we exhale, abdominals, pelvic floor, inner thigh. The three work together here. We inhale, release, but do not collapse. And we exhale, lift. Inhale, release, but do not collapse. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale, release, but do not collapse. And we exhale, lift. Hold it up there, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. And then just release the leg down. Good, extend the top leg long and just stretching out the body here. Extend through the toes, nice. And then just very gently, we're going to push ourselves up. We're just going to push ourselves up to sitting here. We're going to swing ourselves around and do it all on the other side. And as you lay yourselves down, just making sure your heels are in line with your buttocks here. Okay, we extend that top leg long, relax the foot, and again, take a big breath in. We exhale, abdominals strong, and we lift. We inhale, lengthen, and release. We exhale, lift. Work your abs here, work the breathing system. Inhale, lengthen, and release. Good. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lengthen, and release. Exhale, lift. Now this time, just inhale, bring it back, the foot in line with the hip. Flex the foot here. We take a big breath in and we exhale. We bring the leg forward and we push through the heel. And then we inhale, we bring it back. We point the foot, we stretch the thigh out here, squeeze your buttocks. Good, bring it back on that exhale. And we flex and push. We inhale, bring it back. Point, stretch the thigh, squeeze your buttocks, holding it here. Big breath in, big breath out. Good, and then just inhale, release the leg down. We're going to grab hold of that top leg here and extend that bottom leg long along the floor, flexing the foot. 
Again, taking that big breath in and we exhale. Lift the leg up, good. Inhale, release, but do not collapse. And we exhale, abdominals, pelvic floor, inner thigh. Inhale, release. Exhale, feel the three working together. Inhale, release. Good, and again, exhale. Keep the abdominals strong. Inhale, release. And we exhale, hold it up there. One big breath in, one big breath out. And then inhale, release the leg down. And we lengthen that top leg long, just stretching through the toes. Good, and then we're going to roll over onto our stomachs here. And just gently push yourselves up onto your hands, coming up onto all fours. We're going to get ready for a cat series here. We'll be working and strengthening the muscles that run vertically up and down the spine, as well as toning the butt. So to start with, we'll just engage the abdominals. So just looking to the floor, and again, just sensing of your natural curves of the spine. So if you were laying on your back, just think of your natural curves. Hunch your shoulders round your ears and slide the shoulders into the mid back. Good, and just keeping them there. Now take a big breath in. As you exhale, scoop your abdominals up to the spine. Don't move your spine. Pull up on the pelvic floor and then inhale, release it, let it go. And again, exhale, scoop, pull up on the pelvic floor. Inhale, release, let it go, good. And again, exhale, scoop, pelvic floor. And this time we're going to do a balance pose. Extend left arm, right leg. Looking to the floor, squeeze your back buttocks. If it's too strong on your lower back, don't raise the back leg so high. Keep the abdominals strong. We inhale, release. And we exhale, extend. Good. Scoop your abs. Really squeeze your back buttocks, extend through the fingers, through the toes. Then this time, just place the hand back onto the floor. We inhale, we're going to curl the right knee up into the chest and open the spine here. And then we exhale, extend the leg out, squeeze your buttocks, good. And again, inhale, curl. Exhale, extend it out and squeeze, good. And again, inhale, curl. Exhale and squeeze. Now this time we add a variation. We inhale, look to the knee. We exhale, look back to the floor. We inhale, curl it up. We exhale. We inhale, look to the knee. We exhale, look to the floor. We inhale, curl it up. One more, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and inhale, release it down. Okay, swapping sides now. We're going to inhale, curl the right knee up. And we exhale, extend it out and squeeze. And again, inhale, curl. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, curl. Exhale, squeeze. Add the variation, we inhale, look to the knee. We exhale, look to the floor. We inhale, curl it up. We exhale, look to the floor. Inhale, look to the knee. Exhale, look to the floor. Inhale, curl it up. And again, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, and then just inhale, release the leg down. We're going to advance the exercises now. We're going to do an exercise called Down Face Dog. But first of all, we'll do a preparation one where we're going to strengthen the wrists, arms and shoulders. So just curl your toes under and just sensing your balance here between your left and your right palm. Keep those shoulders into the mid back. So very consciously think of your, si your spine and your alignment of your spine. Taking that big breath in deep and wide. And we exhale, we scoop the abs, push the palms, lift the body. Good, taking the spine with you. And then we inhale, release back down. And again, big breath in. We exhale, scoop the abs, push the palms and lift. Inhale, release back down. Okay, now this time we're gonna take it all the way up. Big breath in, deep and wide. And we exhale, scoop, push the palms, lift the body, come right up onto your toes, pushing the pelvis high, and then we push 
the heels into the floor, just stretching it out. Now if you're finding this is too strong on the backs of your legs or the lower back, just slightly bend your knees here. And if you're finding it too strong on the neck and the shoulders, you can do the right angle pose on the wall. Good, just staying with your breath, keep working the stomach nice and strong, keeping the shoulders in the mid back here. Good, we'll take a big breath in, deep and wide. Exhale into it. And then we inhale, back up onto your toes. Lift it high. We exhale, bend the knees. Sitting back on your heels, just coming into a rest position just for a moment. And again, inhaling back up onto all fours, curl the toes under, take that big breath in deep and wide, and we exhale, push the palms, scoop the abs, come right up onto the toes, lift the pelvis high, we exhale, push the heels into the floor, stretching it out, down face dog, just even pressure on the palms, keep working the shoulders into the mid back, keep your stomach strong, try and work the legs, heels into the floor. To stay in with your breath, you can feel it's a great stretch and tone for the whole body. Another two big breaths in, inhale deep and wide, exhale into it. And again, inhale deep and wide, exhale into it. And then we inhale back up onto the toes, lift the pelvis high, good. We exhale, bend the knees, back into rest position. We'll do it one more time, inhaling back up. Curl the toes under, take that big breath in, deep and wide. And we exhale, push the palms, scoop the abdominals, lifting the pelvis high, and we push the heels into the floor, stretching it out. Good, just breathing into it here. You can just sense the inversion here of the blood pumping to the head, just oxygenating the brain, revitalizing the facial tissue. So lengthening, stretching the back of the neck, staying with the breath, work the legs, work the body. And then we inhale back up onto the toes, lift the pelvis high, exhale, bend your knees, and we'll all come into child pose, arms beside the body, forehead on the floor. And just becoming aware of the body, the body's warm, the muscles working, the muscles activated. And you can just sense the mid-back broadening, the lower back lengthening as the spine is opening. And the spinal fluid is flushing and gushing through the spine, rejuvenating the spine. And just relaxing the facial muscles, soften the jaw. And then just keeping the head and the shoulders last. On your next inhale, it's going to start to curl the body up. Keep the stomach very strong, curling it up, opening the spine as you do this, stretch your spine, and then rebuild the spine. The head will be the last thing to come back up on top. We're going to place our hands just in front of our knees here. We're going to push ourselves up, coming up into standing for an exercise called Uttanasana. It's just working it gently as you come up. If you need to keep your knees bent, please do so. Grab hold of the elbows. Relax the body forward. Good. Just feel the stretch in the legs, buttocks, length in the spine. Again, just facial muscles relaxing, jaw softening. And just keeping the head and the shoulders last. We inhale, and as we exhale, abdominals strong, release the arms, and again, we curl the body up. Keep the stomach very strong here. Good. Head, shoulders last and rebuild your spine. Back up to standing. And then we're just going to turn to the front. We're going to do a series of standing poses now that will really strengthen the legs, which are the foundation of the body, as well as working with the arms and stretching the body. The first one is called Trikonasana. We're going to take a fairly wide stance here. And if you feel like you can't quite balance with these standing poses, just lean against the wall. We're going to turn the right foot 
a 90 degree angle and just looking down and aligning the right heel with the left arch. We slightly turn the back foot in just about 20 degrees and just try and lift up out of the hips. We're going to inhale, lengthen the waist, raise the arms to the side. And simply on the exhale, we slide the shoulders down into that mid-back. Good, just protecting the mid-back as we work. Take that big breath in, deep and wide, use your breathing system. We exhale, we lengthen and extend the body to the right, taking the arm down onto the leg, raising that back arm up. If you can, you tuck your chin into the throat, looking up to that top thumb. If you feel it in the neck, you look down to the floor. And just try and balance here. Let's really feel the work in the legs, even pressure on the feet. Let's try and work that right hip forward, sensing a lateral extension up the side of the body. And then we inhale, release the body back up. Good. We'll do an exercise now called Warrior Two, which is a little stronger. We're going to take another big breath in, and without moving the body, just simply on the exhale, bend the right knee. The body, the torso, will go sink straight down. Good, and then we tuck the chin into the throat, looking over the right fingers. Really squeeze that back buttocks, work that back leg into the floor. Just keep the length in the neck, shoulders down. Staying with your breath. Just feel the strength in the pose. And then we inhale the right arm down, resting it onto the knee. We exhale the arm over. And then just really extend through the fingers, extending through the crown of the head. So just sensing the alignment of the spine as you're working. Feel that extension up the side of the body. Breathing into it. And then we inhale, release, and spring the body back up. Good, let's realign the legs. Turning the left foot, inhaling, lifting up out of the hips, shoulders down, and we exhale, Trikonasana to the side, taking the arm down. Again, tuck your chin into your throat, look up to that top thumb. If you feel it in the neck, look to the floor. And just try and sense balance again in this one. Staying with your breath. And we inhale the body up. We do the warrior two, taking another big breath in. Exhale, just simply bend the left knee. Tuck your chin into your throat, looking over the left fingers, squeezing your back buttocks, keeping the neck long, facial muscles relaxed as you're working. Staying with the breath. And then we inhale the left arm down onto the knee. We exhale the arm over and really extend through the fingers, feeling that good stretch up the side of the body. Staying with your breath here. And then we inhale the body back up. Good, and just release the arms down. We turn the feet to the front, just slightly bring them in. We're going to inhale the arms up onto the hips and we lift the chest high. We exhale very gently, abdominal strong and bring the body forward. If you need to here, you can bend your knees, just coming to where you're comfortable. Just try and take, if you can, the crown of the head to the floor. Staying with your breath, keeping the stomach strong, keep the shoulders in the mid back. Just feeling the stretch and inversion in the body. And then we inhale and place the hands onto the floor. We're going to turn the left foot here and we just very gently bend the left knee. It's going to stretch the inner thighs, calves and ankles out. Work it gently coming down to where you're comfortable. Good, just working your breath. And then we inhale back up turning the right leg, and we exhale very gently, taking it down. Sensing the stretch, inner thighs, calves and ankles. And then we inhale up, and just very gently bring yourselves down onto your knees. Come off your knees. And we're going to bring ourselves to sitting cross-legged up onto our blocks, but you'll be working with your cushions. 
So just work it gently with the knees as you move. We're going to now work with the bands again and do a series of arm work. So just picking up your bands and always just sensing the resistance of the bands before you work with them. So just feeling it like so. Good. We're working with the breathing system. We're going to inhale and we raise the arms up into the air. Good. And then we exhale. We take the arms back. Now watch your shoulders here. If it's too strong, lessen the resistance. Keep the stomach in. And then we inhale the arms up. Lengthen, reaching. And we exhale the arms down. And again, we inhale, lengthen, reaching, keep the stomach strong, don't move your spine. And we exhale, open that chest. We inhale, lengthen, reaching, stomach strong. And we exhale, the arms down. One more time. Inhaling, lengthen, reaching, stomach in strong. And we exhale, really open that chest, sense a stretch in the arms. Now this time, we inhale the arms back up to the top. And just simply on the exhale, we take the right arm to the side. Just taking it down and really extend and reach through your left fingers. Keep the stomach in strong here and just breathing into that extension. Just feeling that stretch and the work in the arms. And then just very slowly, we inhale, release. Sensing the resistance in the band and the work in the arms. Bringing it back up to centre. And then we exhale. We take the left arm down and extend and reach through the right fingers, sitting tall, lengthening tall. Keep the stomach strong, breathing into that extension, staying with your breath. And again, very slowly, we inhale, release, all the way. Good. Back up to centre. Now this time we're going to work the mid-back muscles. Let's take a big breath in. And we exhale the arms directly to the side and down. So the band touches the backs of the shoulders and you extend through your fingers. Now take the, slide the shoulders down and squeeze them together here. So we're working and strengthening into that mid-back. We're going to keep the shoulders down without moving and we inhale the arms to the back of the head. Good. We exhale the arms down. And again, inhale, back of the head, good, keep the shoulders down. And we exhale, arms down. One more time, inhale, part way. And we exhale, arms down, nice. Now we inhale, release the arms back up into the air. This time we bend both arms to the left, taking them down, placing the band at the back of the elbow. We're going to do an exercise to work the tricep muscle in the back of the arm. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, take the top arm directly straight up. Inhale, release part way. Exhale it up. Good. Inhale, part way. Exhale, straight up. Good. And again, inhale, part way. Exhale, straight up, one more time. Inhale, part way. Exhale, the arm up, work your breath, good. And we inhale, release the arms. We're gonna take them straight up into the air and over. Bend them to the right, bending that bottom elbow. Sitting up tall, keep the stomach strong. And we exhale, the top arm up, good. Extend through the fingers. And then we inhale again, part way. Sense the resistance here, and we exhale the arm up. Inhale, part way, keep your stomach strong as you work. Exhale the arm up. Inhale, part way. Exhale the arm up. Inhale, part way. One more time, and we exhale the arm up. Good, and then we inhale, release the arms down, and just place your bands to the side. We're just gently going to stretch the arms out here. So just taking the right arm across the body, right arm across. We bend the left one and just pulling the arm back. Good, stretching into the shoulders, keep the shoulders down. Really extend through your fingers here so we stretch into the fingers and the hands. Keep the neck long. Good, just working your breath. And then we inhale, release. And we extend the left arm across, bend your right, pulling the arm back, keeping the shoulders down, extend through the fingers. 
Good, just breathing into that stretch. And then we inhale, release the arms down. We're going to stretch out the neck. We inhale the right arm up into the air. And then we place the hand onto the ear and we just take the head to the side. And you can just close your eyes here. And just try and work that left shoulder down so you've got that lateral extension. Just breathing into it. Good. And then we inhale the arm back up. Exhale it down. We take the left arm up. And then just taking the head to the side. Closing the eyes, try and work that right shoulder down. Just breathing into that stretch. And just softening the breath. And the facial muscles relaxing, the jaw is softening. We inhale the arm up. We exhale it down. That's the end of workout two. Try and allow yourself at least 10 minutes to wind down as this allows the body time to absorb the exercises that you have just done while at the same time soothing the nervous system. I hope you've enjoyed your yoga lattes workout. Remembering if you do this at least three times a week for a month, you'll start losing weight and toning the body. Stick to it for three months and you'll get the body you've always wanted. Now you can join me for relaxation. And just gently closing the eyes. And just sensing the breath as it's entering your body and sensing the breath as it's leaving the body. That simple inhalation one takes and that simple exhalation one takes. You can feel the chest rises on that inhale and just sinking on the exhale. And just sensing the mind is calm, the mind is quiet. 